Hey guys, it's Jeremy, Carbon Kings Podcast, going over a little drum level setup with you guys. All right, here we got a drum and a transmitter. And we have the high side of the transmitter connected to the low side of the drum. And we have the low side of the transmitter connected to the high side of the drum. All right, there's the low tap of the drum, and there's the high tap, or sorry, high and low. But anyway, what I'm doing is referencing the height between the low and high tap and the distance down the transmitter, and, and that's basically going to give you a, a zero-inch differential there, so you don't really need to include that in your DP in the transmitter. So we're basically going to just say that, that that's zero differential from those points down to the transmitter. And what we're really going to look at is, um, you know, the difference from the low tap of the drum to the high tap of the drum, right? So we got a zero dp uh, between that lowest point down to the transmitter. All right, so we're just going to x that out. Okay, so from here to here, which is low to high of the drum, we're going to measure that. Okay. And you're going to physically measure it with a tape measure. Actual inches. Okay. So 33 inches. All right. So from the low of the drum to the high of the drum tap, we have 33 inches. Okay. And we're going to divide that by two. And that's going to give us our values for, you know, upper range and lower range. So 33 divided by 2 is what? Negative 16 and a half inches. 2. 16 and a half inches. That'll give us a 33 inch difference. Easy day. So now we're going to talk about our lower range value and our upper range value. Otherwise known as your URV. Now in this instant, this is going to be your control settings. So you're basically going to set your controls up to receive the 4 to 20 from the transmitter as a negative 16 and a half inch lower range value and a 16 and a half inch upper range value. All right. So what is our transmitter range going to be? If you listen to the other podcast, you probably guessed it. It's going to be 33 inches because it's going to have a difference of 33 inches. So what what you're going to see here is because it's tapped, you know, low of the drum to the high side of the transmitter and high of the drum to the low side of the transmitter, you're going to have a minus 33 inch lower range value. And you're going to have a zero inch upper range value. Now keep in mind, if it was tapped low to low, high to high, that would be a 33 inch lower range value and a zero inch upper range value. But because we tubed it right, low to high, high to low, it's going to be a negative 33 inch URV with a zero, sorry, negative 33 inch LRV with a zero inch URV. And we're going to have a control range of negative 16 and a half inches to plus 16 and a half inches. Boom. 
Controls, Transmitter. It's good to remember that. Uh, and the reason you're going to do that is because you, you ultimately want zero to be the, the nominal level that you're trying to control to, zero inches, which would be, in theory, 50% um, level, so it would be pretty much right where you want to be. So your control set point would be zero inches, which should give you a level that basically was at the center of the drum. Now keep in mind, it's going to vary a little bit because there's turbulence in the drum. right? It's not actually a beautiful straight level. You're going to have these waves and sloshing. You're going to have steam bubbles going going up. And you're going to have you know some density variations going on in the steam side of the drum. But for all intents and purposes, this is what you need. All right, and so you see we come through this condensing pot, and we have the reference leg here. And you always want to make sure that that reference leg is full of water uh, before you ever fire up the boiler. So th don't, don't forget to do that. Otherwise, you're going to have a really hard time controlling drum level. So fill up that reference leg. All right. And then as the low-level leg, uh, as that water goes up and down in the drum, you know, the pressure on that leg is going to change and the level signal from the transmitter to the control is going to change. And basically, as we go uh, down in level, we want to go down in milliamp value. And as we go up in level, we want to go up in milliamp value. So up in milliamp value, that means up in level. We always want our process to go more positive when it comes to level opposed to more negative as the level goes up. We want it to go more positive as